Hi friends and welcome to another fun video. Today I will take a closer look at how to import a curve from an AutoCAD file. And here are these curves now open in AutoCAD. So we're going to import it into Dynamo and then convert it to something useful like points or a curve. And then export these points from Dynamo to the Revit adaptive family environment. In later videos, I will use this curve to create a retaining wall. The first thing we do is to import this AutoCAD file into Red Revit. We then open up Dynamo and start. Let's start to set up our script. We search for the node Select Model Element. This node allows us to select an element in Revit. So I select the AutoCAD file. So now all the elements in the AutoCAD file are inside Dynamo. But we would like it to make it visible and convert these elements to workable objects in the Dynamo environment. We do that with the node element geometry, basically unpacking the AutoCAD geometry. We just make some minor adjustments to the window like that, great. So now let's take a look at what element geometry node contains. It contains three curves. We find the one we would like to isolate. It is at index zero. The node list get item at index with a number node will do that job. Let's connect all the nodes uh, together and we hit run. So next up, it's create points along this curve that we have just isolated and the number of points that will be on the curve will be user defined. We add the node curve point at parameter, the curve we have already found. The parameter input is not very intuitive, kind of complicated. I've typed in 0 dot dot 1 dot dot hash 10 meaning it will be a total of 10 points on the curve between the start point on the curve which is 0 to the end point of the curve at 1 or 100% of the curve. If I replaced 0 with 0 0.4 the first of the 10 points would have started at 40% from the start point of the curve. Okay so I hope that made any sense. I replaced the number 10 with an A making it a user defined input and changing the number from 10 to 50, making it a total of 50 points along the curve. Adding the node reference points by coordinates. This node will create a reference points in the Revit adaptive family. So let's check out the reference points in the Revit. Pretty cool. Can also create a curve from the reference points. And we add, we add the last node. So that is the end of this tutorial. If you found it helpful, please give it a like and subscribe for more videos. Thanks for watching.